Okay, guys. This is kind of a little vlog video. You guys hear me complain about my dogs a lot, so I thought it'd be fun to have you actually meet them. Um, that's Delilah and her mom, Bella. That's Diamond. That's the other puppy. Charlie, the dad, is over there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the house. It's a little, you have to excuse the, the brush and so on because we haven't been able to uh, mow. The mower's broken again. That's the garage that my ex and I built after the tornado. That is what's left of our barn. Just kind of sad, but it needed to come down. It was very, very dangerous. Okay, there's Nelly. Hi, Nelly. Nelly's a big, dumb horse. Beavis, come here. Nelly, you dork. Hey, hey, you kind of see her face. <laughs> Bella's over here having a roll. That's her favorite thing to do, roll in the grass. Snorf around, just generally be idiots. Um, over here, that is our setup for our chickens and ducks. It's quite a, quite a deal here. Um, you see we've got one hen kind of wandering around the back there that she got out loose again this morning. When I came out this morning, actually, all of the ducks were out, and, oh, really? My rooster's getting happy. That little white guy's a rooster. Um, yeah, they were all out this morning, and they were just wandering around. This is my backyard. This is pretty much um, everything. <laughs> we, had, we do have neighbors, like, up there on the hill, but this is where we live. Off in Booneyville, redneck land. <laughs> Yeah, that's my dog kennel. I know it looks horrendous. Um, it's kind of patched together right now, and the tarp is actually a shade, and it should be up along the whole wall, and it kind of got pulled down. But during the really hot summer months, um, you can see there's a huge tree over the kennel. Um, that's just a gigantic tree, and in fact, there are giant trees all the way along. That uh, big fluffy one up there is the one that half of it broke off and came on the house. That's when we had the tornado a few years ago. But at any rate, this big huge tree uh, provides quite a lot of shade, but it, at about noon, one o'clock, the sun starts coming from this side, and without that um, tarp there, they would get really, really hot. So inside the kennel is just uh, mulch. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens. They get a little wound up, and they start jumping around, and pulling on me and being maniacs. I don't know if you guys can see her, but Pumpkin's up in the window. That's my cat. She's up there yowling. She's mad because I left her inside. But yeah, this is... We have a lot of cleanup to do. Right now we have a lot of, uh, of uh, mowing and trimming to do. And it's primarily because our mower is broken right now. We'll watch the ducks pick at their food while, we, while I talk. Um, yeah, our, our mower, the uh, tensioner spring broke on it, so it's got to be replaced before we can, before we can mow. And the trimmer, I'm not sure what's up with the trimmer. I think my son's just being lazy. <laughs> it is a lot. It's a lot of maintenance. Um, believe it or not, we've had all this has been cut down already this summer, and that's how fast it grew. I mean, within a month, this was all right back to, to huge brushville. Um, and the only way to keep track of it is to just continually mow it down, you know, to keep it keep it under control. So yeah, that's uh, that's my my 200 year old house. Um, it's actually it looks pretty good right now because it's been sided. We added this whole huge porch at porch wraps all the way around the front. That's where I sit when I say I'm out on my porch. That's where I'm sitting, which I just you know I love my porch. Um, but yeah, that's. That's pretty much the old homestead. Um, like I said, it's it's old and it drives me a little crazy, but oh, this was actually my kid's clubhouse when they were little. My ex built that and he built it purposely the way he did because out back there is where the deer come out of the woods and he would sit up in there and shoot the deer out of the kid's clubhouse. Yeah, we're, we're a bunch of rednecks. Um, but they, you know, they've outgrown it. They're no longer using it. So we turned it into a chicken coop this summer. And I put this fence, and there was actually a yard there when we started, but the chickens are really good at just destroying the grass. So, so yeah. Well, I got to put these guys in the kennel and get them fed, and then go get my own breakfast. I don't eat until my animals are taken care of. So you can see the, the ducks have a little kiddie pool. They love that thing. They're always in it. They're so funny. 
that's their primary water source and they all like to get in there and swim around and just you know at first they didn't know enough to get in it but now they figured it out so by by the evening that'll be just a mud pit and I'll have to go in there and I, I rinse it every day and put fresh water out there for them because it's the only way for them to have fresh water so so yeah you know unless I let them loose then they go uh, beyond the brush there behind the clubhouse there's a creek and they like to go down there too when it's not running too high so so <laughs> I'm gonna get these these geniuses into their pen right hey, diamond no diamond really likes the chickens hey no chickens and then there's Nelly, who's was just a big doofus on Nelly. Okay guys, that's probably about enough of my, my crazy animals. And like I said, they're ready to eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and, hey Charlie. Hey Charlie, Charlie. I'm trying to see if I can get him to do a circus act for you, but he's busy scratching his ears. All right, come on girls, let's go. Girls, come on. Oh, found something to sniff at. Let's all run like a bunch of maniacs. There he goes. That's how Charlie walks. When you hear me talk about Charlie, this is actually one of his better days. You can see that he's using his um, other his right leg a little better. But yeah, he's he does have arthritis and he has a pretty hard time getting around. Oh, buddy, he's a good boy though, aren't you, Charlie? Okay, guys, I'm gonna do the, yeah. See, they're all ready to go in their pen and get their breakfast. So uh, I'll end it there, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.